I am Nicolas Girard. I'm uh, the head of medical oncology at Institut Curie here in Paris. We are at ELCC 2025, and we have seen many data in the targeted therapy space that may impact our clinical practice, especially in uh, patients with R2 mutant transversalin cancer, small subset, two to four percent of our patients, and also in the EGFR mutant space, uh, where we have now results from phase three randomized studies. First, let's start with R2 mutant transversalin cancer. The SOO1 phase one two trial assessed uh, Bayer 2927088 or Bayer 88, which is an oral kinase inhibitor uh, targeting HER2. This is a, a phase one trial, so we have escalation uh, of the doses. Uh, 20 milligrams twice daily is a, a dose for subsequent uh, cohorts. And I presented the results of two cohorts of patients with HER2 mutant transmissional cancer. First one, patients who were pretreated with platinum chemotherapy and immunotherapy, uh, but were naive to any R2 targeted therapy, a group of 44 uh, patients, high response rate of 71%, so highly significant for clinical practice with a rapid response and a rapid improvement of patients. Safety was good, mostly diarrhea that uh, we can uh, uh, manage with proactive uh, treatment. The second cohort of patients in so on was patients uh, who had previously received an antibody drug conjugate uh, targeting HER2, so mostly trastuzumab deruxtecan. Um, uh, in this group of uh, 34 patients, we have a 35% response rate, 53% uh, disease control rate, clinically meaningful in those heavily pretreated patients, and leading to envision what will be the treatment sequence for those patients. We expect uh, uh, TDXD to become a first-line option for those patients based on the destiny lung 4 trial that compares TDXD to chemotherapy and immunotherapy. So we see that uh, with Bayer 88, we have a, a potential second-line option after TDXD. But uh, on the other hand, uh, TDXD response rate is around 50%. So we show uh, with uh, uh, treatment naive cohort in SO1 that uh, we may increase those response rates, so produce higher responses for those patients from the beginning, from first line, and the SO2 trial is currently ongoing to assess the efficacy of Bayer 88 in the first line setting versus chemotherapy. Uh, what we saw uh, in the EGFR mutant non small cell and cancer space are the results of Mariposa, randomized study, amivantamab plus lazertinib versus ozimertinib. We have a benefit in terms of PFS that translates into an overall survival uh, benefit, uh, uh, expected to be higher than 12 months, so highly meaningful, uh, practice changing. This will be uh, the new standard of care for the management of patients with EGFR mutant non small cell lung cancer. The question is how to manage the toxicities, especially the dermatologic adverse events, and I presented the results of the COCOON trial that shows that if we have a proactive prophylactic treatment regimen, uh, we may reduce by twofold the uh, risk of grade two or higher dermatologic adverse events. Uh, we are reducing also the dose modification and interruption with amivantamab plus lazertinib. So it is a more intense regimen for sure, but it leads to increase the overall survival of patients. What are the next steps for those patients? Well, Understanding the treatment sequences, as I mentioned, and also having new options in the second line setting. For EGFR mutant non small cell lung cancer, we have seen data uh, from the Savannah study, so showing that we can uh, reassess the molecular biology of those patients with a rebiopsy, leading to identify some targets such as MET overexpression, which uh, may be effectively uh, uh, treated with uh, savolitinib. Uh, an oral MET uh, inhibitor in combination with ozimertinib. ADCs uh, in the second line setting, continuation of ozimertinib, adding uh, datopotamab derixtecan. This is the ORCARD uh, trial with a PFS of 11 months, so higher than what we have with chemo or even chemo plus amivantamab. For R2 uh, uh, mutant uh, patients, combinations are also uh, uh, underway. We have also new subset of patients such as the have two overexpression uh, patients uh, uh, with a high expression of R2 
at uh, immunohistochemistry, so quite different subset of patients as compared to R2 mutant uh, non small cell lung cancer, with uh, several trials ongoing with TDXD, a single agent, or in combination with chemo, and some next generation immune checkpoint inhibitors, Destiny Lungo 3 was presented during this meeting.